It's tough, you know. I don't think a scoreline reflects the performance of the players. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, valiant effort. Uh, we defended courageously and really well, and um, our scrum was dominant. It was on top. Unfortunately, you know, our line didn't quite function to the levels that we had the other week. Uh, we ended up conceding two kind of all tries. Uh, third try bounces, possible forward pass at the back of Aaron's head, and the fourth tries. Like one of these things that occasionally happens in rugby, you know, and it's uh, it's it's tough to swallow because we had a losing bonus point at that point. We had three minutes to go to try and get something more out of the game, and I think probably the second half we were clearly the better team, and the first half they were clearly the better team, you know. So um, it's frustrating, um, but I think we've taken big positives out of it in terms of effort, um, you know, and um, you know the, the the players are hurting, we're hurting, but we have to look forward to the next next opposition. Look, I don't think we control the field well at all, and this is a team that control the field better than anybody. And uh, we, we spent too long inside our own half. We kind of kicked the ball straight back to them. Um, you know, we didn't quite find the space in the backfield like we did. When we did occasionally get to the fullback, you know, he knocked the ball on. We, we created momentum. We had two or three really strong moments down here. And the big turning moment probably was just before half time when 15 3 down. Um, we have a quick tap. Uh, we knock the ball on just before the line. We then get another opportunity to attack them again. And uh, we have penalty advantage. And we end up going for a drop kick um, instead of playing the penalty through. And unfortunately, we got three points. We got back down there three and a half minutes ago, four and a half minutes ago to the end of the first half. We ended up conceding seven points, you know, and that really took the game away from us at 22-3 or 22-6. And uh, it was it was tough, you know, it was tough then. So 22-3, sorry, it was it was tough then. But um, the second half, you know, we were the one team attacking, we were the one team posing problems. You know, two or three penalties decisions against us maybe. Um, but on the balance of balance of play, the second half was a much, much stronger performance. There's lots of guys in the, in the first half team as well that really fronted up. Um, but obviously, you know, it, it goes without saying, Paul Aziki came on and, and made a mess of, of Saracen's defence. You know, it's, he's, he's one of the most feared ca uh, ball carries in the league. Uh, you know, he's had two or three kind of uh, injury niggles during the, during the pre-season, which kind of limits the amount of moments he can play at, the, at, at this time. But obviously, um, he's feared. Um, we love him. He gives us momentum, gives us go forward. And when we've got fast, fast ball and front football, uh, we're a dangerous team. Well, look, it's not just Worcester. We have to manage the next two games. So we have to try and work out what the, what the right team is. Obviously, like we kind of know, um, but Worcester probably watch our Quinns TV. So probably not going to try and say exactly what it is that we're going to do just yet. But um, we're going to respect the players. You know, the welfare of the players is paramount. We're going to make sure that the, that the, the boys are pretty banged up, make sure they're OK. Uh, and then we'll pick a team based on that on uh, tomorrow evening.